back to the jail. Really, we suffered back. So many people in the jails, just if because they are cursed, they will be killed in the jail. So many. So many people, they were still 20 years in the jails of al region. And we suffered from the system of Arabic, uh, Arabic to make it Arabic, yeah, Arabic patients in the north of Syria also. And even with the people without identities, 300,000 people of Syria, Kurdish Syrian without identities. They don't have any civil uh, rights. Uh, they don't have to elect. They don't have to even to be a, an employee in this uh, Syria and so on. Even they don't have passports. Nothing is there. Even for that, all the Kurds always they want to have their own rights in a democratic way. In 2004, in al Hamshdi city, the uprising of al Hamshdi, actually, the revolution of Kurdish people, they, it started in 2004. But because of the Assad regime, and because of the other Arabs who are really have the Chauvinist Arabs in the area, they, uh, they attacked the Kurds that, that time, and they attacked their areas, their shops, their everything, magazines, burn it and steal it and so on. Okay. Nobody at that time, from our Arabs friends and brothers, nobody, they support us. The first uh, things they say, oh, they are Kurds, they want to have an independent uh, state as a Kurdish people. And this is the reason which uh, my colleague mentioned, we have the mistrust between all the Kurdish Syrian population. We have that, yes. Because always the regime, they want to separate all the people from each other, steal from each other. They will say to the Arabs, the Kurds, they want to separate independent state. They will say to Arabs, they are Alawis, they will kill you. They will say Sunni and the same. And the Christians also same. So all the people, they will be against each other in order to the regime of Assad will be the authority always in his hand and he can control everybody there. In this way, Syria goes on. Mistrust, but if we look inside the people, inside the, the social fabric, there is brotherhood between them. We have, in, in the northeast of Syria, in Al Jazeera, we have Arabs, we have Kurds, we have Syriacs, Assyrians, Turkmen, Armenians. So that means we have in Syria, we have multi-nations in all over Syria. You can see Kurds, you can see Arabs, you can see uh, Armenians, you can see Turkmen, you can see Druzis, and so on. And we have also multi-religions. We can see the Muslim Sunni, the Muslim Alawi, and the Yazidis, the Christian, uh, Druzis, Alawis, and so on. All these together, on Syria living together. No one, no, just in, in, the, in the north of Syria, we can say, we have the uh, Syriac neighbors. Never we say that they are against us or they are our enemies. We have the, the coexistence living with all this component in the Syria. But always the regime won't, won't, won't to make, just to create this idea among the people. In in 2011, when the spring, Arab Spring started, I hope it was not Arab Spring, because I never see any spring till now. But I don't know how you see. No spring, spring always we have uh, uh, roses, we have sunshine, we have so many good, beautiful things, but I never see any spring. I saw only clouds, I saw only very dark night and day, blood, everywhere conflict, and this is what I see in, 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 the, in Syria till now. Four years have finished. We, uh, we started the fifth year now, so many days, but still we have the winter is there. So in this, in uh, 2011, what happened there? Always Kurds, they look at the Syrian, we are Syrian. We are the Kurds, we are Syrian, I, I am Syrian, I am proud that I am a Syrian, 
but I have another identity, which is a Kurd. I am proud of Syrian, I am proud of Kurdish also identity. You can delete my identity as a Kurd. You, you want to say to me, you are Syrian only. No, I am Syrian, Kurdish Syrian. You are also, uh, 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 for instance, Syriac, Christian Syriac, you are Syriac and Syrian uh, settlement. But you don't, you can't separate it. For that, the Kurdish, when they started, they say, we are Syrian and we are Kurds in Syria. So we seek our rights to get the political rights, to get the social rights, to, to, to get the economic rights, and so on. We live in Syria, in the northeast of Syria, which is full of oil wells everywhere. It is the richest, and my colleagues are from Syria, they know this area, it is the richest area in Syria. Agriculture and oil is in there. But the people, Kurds people who are living there, they are the poorest people there. All these powers, I mean, the, 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 the uh, uh, wealth, goes to the regime, nobody benefit of it. So we say in Kurd Kurdish people in Syria, from the beginning we say, okay, we have to choose another side. Because of the mistrust of the opposition with, when it started, the opposition, Mr. Amar mentioned, they didn't have any very clear vision of Syria. They started without any project, clear project in Syria to, to follow it. They only say, oh, we have to follow Al-Assad. We have to follow the regime. We have to do so and so. But did not have a project which made all the components of Syria, like Kurds, like Arabs, like Syriacs, like the other religions, to agree on it. They didn't have it. So because of this, the Kurdish people, when they see that, that the opposition, unfortunately, they didn't have a good, clear idea, clear vision, clear project for all the components, they didn't see with them. And we know the regime, what is the regime doing with the, with the Kurds, so we didn't want to be with them also. So we as a Kurds in Syria, we preferred to have the third line, and this third line means the democratic line in Syria. That means I want to change the regime, the system of Syria to into a democratic system for all the components of Syria. This is my vision. For that, I started to make a relationship with all the components in my area. Kurds, Arabs, Syriacs, Assyrians, Turkmen, everybody. And we built a good relation with all these people. We say to them, if you want to really to live in a very peaceful way together, let us work together. So we Kurds, we, we as uh, Kurds as Sunni, Muslim, Arawi, Zidis we have, with Christians all together we made a, a program and we made a, an a agreement on the area together. First, to protect our area, to protect Al Jazeera, to protect Kubani, which is a Kurdish area also, and to protect Afrin, which is the northeast of the of uh, Aleppo city, it's a Kurdish area. Three, so we have to protect this from the regime if they attack us or any other people who wants to attack the people there. And we succeeded to build the, the uh, local uh, forces, which is the people protection units, which we call it YPG. These people protection units they are not only protecting the Kurds in the area. They are sacrificing themselves to protect the Christians, Syria. They sacrifice themselves to protect the Arabs. They sacrifice themselves to protect all the area with Kurds and so on. On these principles we work. And I think till now we succeeded, really. Of course we paid so many prices. We paid the, the Kubani city, what happened to Kubani. Kubani it is destroyed, 80% of Kubani is almost destroyed. But who destroyed it? The ISIS. The unclear vision of the opposition 
makes ISIS comes to Syria. The unclear project for Syria makes the extremist uh, force extremism comes to Syria, like Jabhat al-Nusra and ISIS. You must know, in the beginning of 2012, Jabhat al-Nusra and the other groups from the Free Syrian Army, unfortunately, they attacked the Kurdish places, Sarifania, which is Ras al Ain, first one. Who attacked it? Jabhat al-Nusra, Ahrar al-Sham, Ahfad al-Ummah, they are from the Free Syrian Army. But they are having the same mentality of Jabhat al-Nusra. They have the projects of the Islamic State. This is the project what they have. And this project, which is the Islamic State, nobody would accept it. What about the rest of the Syrian population? They are not all Muslims. We have Christians, we have Yazidis, we have Alawis, we have so many people. So how can you, uh, you, you, you confess them to be in this Islamic State and extremism? Nobody accepts. So these people, they attack the Kurdish people in Sarifania. And we wonder, as a Kurd, what happened? Why you are a Free Syrian army attacking the Kurds? We didn't do anything for you. We want to make a co I mean, cooperation with all the Free Syrian army. But I didn't find it. I find now we have groups of Free Syrian army, really, they are secular groups, they want to democratize Syria, and these groups, we work with them now. They are fighting in Kobani, and they are fighting in uh, Tantamat, they are fighting in Sarifamiya now, when ISIS is attacking us there. So our Kurdish region there, it is our project is to democratize Syria. This is our project. Our project is decentralized Syria, pluralist Syria. And we have the, uh, the administration, which we call the democratic administration in Syria. We have now the canton, make the canton of Al Jazeera. We have the canton of Kubani and the canton of Afrin. Three Kurdish area, we built there, there the democratic administration mm -hmm. and make it three cantons because it's very difficult to make it together because of the presence of ISIS in between all these cantons. In each, each canton, we have Kurds, Arabs, Syriacs in Al Jazeera. In Kobani, we have Kurds, majorities are Kurds. In Afrin, we have Kurds and Arabs living together. And we made the local government there. We made the local administration, democratic administration there. Now you can find in this administration, as an just example, I can tell you. We find the president of the uh, uh, executive council, he is a Kurd, his assistant must be one woman as a Syriac and one Arab, uh, Arab man or so. If we have the, the president is a Arabs, one Arab must, his assistant must be one Kurd, one Syriac. So in each commission, we have three components, Kurds, Arab, Syriacs. That means we want to have each one have his own rights in this democratic system. Otherwise, nobody will be with you. That means if I am the authority in these regions, because I am the majority of Kurds, and neglecting about the Syriac and the Arabs, they will be against me. I will never accept that. I suffered from denying always. Now I will not deny anybody. I will be with everybody in this area. And this is what we worked on it, we did. So we have now the governor, the governors of the Jazeera cantons. He is the sheikh, that means the president of the tribe, which is very famous, Shumer. He is the governor of Al Jazeera Arabs, and his colleague, which is the co-governor, we call it, she is a Kurdish woman. Two are the governor of Al Jazeera. One Kurd, one Arab. Never happened in Syria. So my colleagues, they are there. Never. You never see one Kurd, one Arab, one Syriac, they are ruling and doing all this together. But now we have. We have in these cantons, we have three official languages. The language, Kurdish language, 
Syriac language and Arabic language. Three official languages. It's the first time in the history of Syria that you'll find. Always we have the Arabic language. Really, I respect the Arabic language. I like it, but I have to learn my own language, my mother tongue. What about it? You should not neglect it. And this is what happened now. You are free. You can study Arabic, you can study Turkish, you can study Syria. Why not? Everywhere in the world is like that. It's prohibited in, in our places, it seems like. Now we say, because of it, we are seeking for the democratic system in Syria as a Kurds people. We are seeking to make the reconciliation between all the components, to rebuild this trust in between all the components in Syria. This is our aim now. We have councils all together, Arabs, Kurds, Syria in these councils. And they are building together. They are working together in a very, very good way. And now, what happened in our region, even now recently? Kobani liberated, but still some villages in Kobani is there attacking or by ISIS. But now, when the, the ISIS, they were defeated in Kobani, they now turn to another places and attacking Tantaman. Tantaman is a place where majority are Christians, they are Syriac. So ISIS attacking the Syrian people there, the villages. They kidnapped 280 persons from there, the Syrian women and old men. They killed them and cut their heads, two women, and put it in the center of the city, in Tatam. And now in Salikani, again, there is attack of ISIS against Salikani, a very severe attack. Till now, we are here. There is severe attack at Salikania and Tatam. ISIS, they don't want to have any minorities there. No Kurds, no Syriac, no Christians, nobody there. Even against the, the Arabs, Sunni, not, not only Kurds. Because of that, we say we have to be together, Arabs, Kurds, Syriac, against this extremism in Syria. We have to be together. This is what we are doing, really. And now, uh, in this Tatam, we have Kurds fighting there, which is the YPG. And the women fighters, every, everybody heard about the women fighters in Kubani, YPJ, people, uh, women in protection units. They were so brave, they, 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 they fight, fought the, the, the ISIS, in a, a really everybody heard about it. Nobody heard fears of ISIS, Kurdish women. And we have also the forces of the Arab forces, who is Sanadid. They are also fighting with the Kurds against ISIS. And we have another group, which is the Syriac forces, which is Sotoro, and the Assyrian forces, which is the, the Council of Assyrians, Habur, it, it guards these also. They are three Kurds, Arabs, Syriac, Assyrian, all they are fighting ISIS in Tatamar and Saikania now. No. So we don't have any problem with our Arabs, with Kurds, with other, with other uh, Syrians and minorities. We want to build such, pro I mean, such a democratic system in Syria. We like to have, maybe my friend, he said uh, the future of Syria, no Syria. It is, I don't like to hear it. I like Syria. I don't like to say that no Syria. If there is no Syria, what, we can, what can we have after? What can we have? I would be very sad to have it without Syria. We must have Syria if the, 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 the system be like the system of the self-democratic administration which we adopted now in the Kurdish region. Maybe if it is as a model will be all over Syria, we will have Syria, why not? In such model, we can have Syria. And this is what we really want. So thank you so much. Uh, if you have any question, we'll be ready to ask. Thank you. Uh.